Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NFL Thoughts. Now, um, I said some stuff in that video yesterday. Um, I said that, you know, I'm scared of Philadelphia now and all that. And after I had time to meditate, you know, and Woosa, Woosa. Um, I came to the bottom line of the fact that, you know what, maybe this game uh, is good for us. Maybe this game could possibly be a good thing for us. You know, maybe because of this game, these past couple of weeks against um, Houston and Jacksonville, we're finally going to get our heads together again and focus, lock in, you know, all this, you know, stuff about the, um, you know, Cowboy fans and Eagle fans going back and forth at each other because Eagle fans continue to um, misunderstand what Micah Parsons said about Jalen Hurts. You know, he literally just asked a question, is it Jalen Hurts or is it the team? Well, I saw Jalen Hurts yesterday, and he played like dog crap. And the Eagles still won. Why? Because it's the team. So, with that being said, so basically I answered Micah Parsons' question right there. Um, I'm just saying, um, a game like this... You can learn, learn and grow from. But then again, we thought that against the Green Bay Packers uh, when we lost that game. What it all boils down to, um, literally the Vikings game and this Jags game are really the two losses that I actually take seriously. Because the Eagles lost, we didn't have our quarterback, all right? I knew sooner or later, maybe not at that moment before that game, but I knew sooner or later that kid Cooper Rush was going to fold eventually because he is still, at the end of the day, a backup, and the defense has been carrying the load. I knew eventually... You know, sooner rather than later, maybe, that he was going to fold. And it just happened to ha uh, happen against a team that we really needed that victory to did not put ourselves in a hole. Now, we put ourselves in an even bigger hole as of right now. But I'm just saying that at that time. So, we didn't have our quarterback. So, you beat Cooper Rush. Congratulations. Anyway, um, you basically are NFC East champions by default at this point because there's no way in the world they're going to lose three straight and we win three straight. All right. There's no way in the world that's going to happen. But, yeah, so congratulations. You're NFC East champions. You're the number one seed. And you beat Cooper Rush. Congratulations. Like I said, I don't take that um, loss that seriously because of that. And the loss against Tampa Bay week one, um, I never take opening day seriously. I never do. All right? Because week one does not make or break your season. And you've seen that on display um, on how this season has turned out to be from what we're doing now compared to what people were talking about us then back in week one after that loss to Tampa Bay. We are um, a clearly a way better team than people were finna give us credit for with what they were talking about us with that game against Tampa Bay. So, yeah, so um, the Packers lost, 
and the Jacksonville loss, the only two games, the two losses I really can, um, you know, actually take seriously at the moment. Yeah, they basically happened like almost the exact same way. We had a double digit lead and then we blew it. Plain and simple. We blew a 14 point lead in the fourth quarter against Aaron Rodgers. And then we blew a 17 point lead in the second half against Jacksonville. You got you got um bamboozled by an old gun and then you got bamboozled by a young gun so i guess it all balances out but i will say this as much as there's a lot of cowboy fans who feel like the season is done they think that we're gonna go one and done in the playoffs um with that game against jacksonville i don't blame you for thinking that way but I'm here to say this. We got Philadelphia. That's going to be our toughest matchup of these final three games. Then we got Tennessee, who, mind you, still has Derrick Henry and a underrated slept-upon defense. And then you got Taylor Heineke and the Commanders in the regular season finale, who probably might be battling for a playoff spot. So you got three games left this season. These final three games of the season are going to show what type of football team we are. Are we a good football team? Or are we a great football team? That's what these final three games of the season are going to show us. Are we a good football team? Or are we a great football team? Or... Are we going to lose each of these final three games and show exactly how much of a bad football team we really are? That's what these final three games are going to show. So, yeah, um, I'm always going to be on the positive side. I just kind of, I kind of had a little bit of a, if you even want to call it that, I kind of had a little bit of a um, meltdown in that second video that I made. Um, and I just kind of, you know, I just kind of lost it. I was just kind of down and I just was very disappointed by how we played out there yesterday. So I was just down and, you know, like down in the dumps and everything, I guess if you want to, you know, that what you want to say. So y'all know me. Even in our losses, sometimes I'm on the positive side of things, you know. Y'all already know me. I look at it this way. Remember the last time we were in this situation? We lost to Green Bay after blowing a two-touchdown lead. And people were talking about, oh, this they're not as good as we thought they were. And then we come out against Minnesota and we absolutely waxed them. We waxed them 40 to 3 the next week. And then we went on to have another run after that, you know, all the way up until, of course, this game right here where we lost to Jacksonville. So, you know, nobody's giving us a chance in this game against Philadelphia. Nobody's giving us a chance. Nobody. Everybody thinks that we're going to get blown the hell out and we got to go out there and just prove everybody wrong. And, you know, go out there, play like you did against Minnesota. Same situation. You're coming off of a, of a, a disappointing loss where you blew a double digit lead and you're going up against, once again, a team uh, who's got only one loss, just like you did when you played Minnesota. And so it's time to buckle up them chin straps a little tighter, tighten them gloves up a little more, and lock in focus. These final three weeks of the season needs to be about focus and locking in and we're not playing around, all right? 
we just got beat by a team that we would we should have we should have beaten them by at least two scores, like I predicted. But that didn't happen. So now we're here ten and four against a NFC East opponent who has a three game three game lead on us and. This game isn't going to show very much except our pride, all right, and show that we're not out of this. That's what this game needs to show. So, like I said, we got three games left in the regular season before the playoffs because we are in the playoffs. Shout out to the Giants for helping us do that, but I am, of course, you know, kind of disappointed because we didn't take care of our own business. But nonetheless, we're in the playoffs. These final three games of the season are going to show what type of football team we are. Are we a good football team? Or are we a great football team? That has been my time. Like, subscribe. This is NFL Thoughts. Out.